What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So for today's topic, we are going to talk about filter and sorting our data. So again, we are going to use our Excel file to get our information, our data that we are going uh, to use for our filtering and sorting. So for this one, so let's say for example, from our Excel file, so I want to filter out those information that, that contains uh, shirts. Alright, so to start with, so we need to get those information out from this list that we have here. So as you can see here on our list transpose, so what we want to do is we want to take out this information here so that contains uh, shirts. So we want our index one to be separated. So how to do that? So to do that, if you still remember, we have this node that we called okay so on our search bar here so let's type uh, least get item at index item at index okay so this is very useful so most of the time we use this one if we want to get a list or information out from our list transpose node here okay so what i want to do is i'm going to connect my list here and i want another input here index so we want uh, index one, it's a number one, okay? So that's why we need to use a number node. <clears throat> so I'm going to type here number, and then there's the number, let's click that one. So there you go, so I'm going to key in here number one. All right, so because I want this list here, I'm going to type one, click outside, and then let's connect that there. Now I'm going to hover my pointer here, and then hover my pointer and then pin it. So as you can see, this list here on our list.transpose node is now separated. Alright, so the next thing that we are going to do is let's further filter out our shirt information here. So I'm going to change this one. So let's look for equal. Okay, so equals. So I'm going to click that one. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to sort out the information here for the shirts, not the other uh, information like pants, uh, footwear, accessories. So I only want the shirts. So I need to use the equal here. Okay, so we have a two input here. So this is my first input item. And then since this is a string for our input Y, so I'm going to look for string node there you go and then you just need to type exactly what it is written here or what it is that information that you want to look for so in our case it's the shirts so i'm going to type here shirts with capital s and small letters for h i r t s the shirts and then just click outside okay so as you can see equal x to y so it's yes or no or true or false uh, output for this one. So I'm going to connect this. So what will happen is uh, this node will check whether our index 0 here is equal to shirts. Index 1 equals to shirts. Index 2 equals to shirts. And so on and so forth. And then the output is true or false. Okay? So if we are going to connect our string here, Okay, and then as you can see, the output here is true and, true and false, true or false, right? So index 0 and 1 is true because it's both shirts. So it's like shirts is equal to shirts, so that's true. So shirts, index number 1 is equal to shirts, so that's true. Now for the rest, like for example, index number 2 here, so pants is not equal to shirts, that's why it's false. Now, the next thing that we're going to do to further filter out our information here for the shirt, so let's use another filter tool. This time, we use filter by Boolean mask. So we are going to use the information here from our Boolean, from our equal node. So I'm going to click the filter by Boolean mask. Okay, so I'm going to connect this to the mask. And now for the list, I'm going to use this one. Okay. 
connected. There you go. Okay, and then for the output, you can see. So instead of using this um, function or this process to show the output, so we will be using a watch node here. Watch. So let's click twice for the node uh, for the watch node. So so we will be having two output here. So it's in the other one is uh, out. There you go. So let's check out the the output. So as you can see here, for our uh, in, okay. So let's check out our list here, like list rest of items. So as you can see, it shows here all the number, right? So in our number here, so it's actually a number S1, you see, and our index zero, so those are numbers, okay? S1, S2, P1, so S1, S2, P1, and so on and so forth. Now, the reason why this is the out, because it contains true, you see there, zero and one, so we need to extract this information the index 0 and then index 1 so that will be our in there so index 0 and then index 1 which is the, the, the number and description okay so number and description so now so this is separated because this contains uh, shirts while the rest of the node here okay which is our two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, index. So they are false. That's why they are separated here. So our zero and one, so they are separated. So they are the in because they are the true and then it contains the word shirt. So it's both true, so that's why the number and then description which is the true value so that will be your in so that's the in and then the the rest up here index 2 to 8 which is false so they are the out because they are the false all right so basically this is the basic way of uh, filtering your information okay so it's simple one you can also explore the other tools for filtering but most of the time this is the one that i use okay when i want to get information from my excel file now for this one i'm going to select these nodes and then i'm going to right click and then group it okay so group so let me call it filter by shirt okay so if you want to change let's say for example you want to filter by accessories so all you have to do is to change this okay oh no no need to change this one but only this one okay you can type here accessories access accessories and then just click outside so it will be updated Okay, so accessories. So let's say uh, you want to change this to pants. Pants. There you go. So all the in here, these are the, the true. And then the out here, those are the false. There you go. So let me just change it back to shirts. Okay, so now the next part of this exercise is let me show you how to sort. So let's say, for example, I want to sort by by height. This one on my index number three here on my list first item here. So I want to sort it, this information, like for example, this one, list rest of items i want to sort it by height okay so how to do that so what i'm going to do let me just move this group here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to since i want index number three so i'm going to be i need number node 
okay which is this is number three so I want number three and then after that let me get the information again from the list using list get item at index all right so I'm going to connect my number three here to the index okay so for this one I'm going to leave this blank so I'm going but in, uh, instead I'm going to look for a sort tool here salt a uh, sort by function this one okay so sort by function right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort this list rest of items by index number three which is height so that's why I'm going to connect this here and then I'm going to connect this item to here all right and then let's see the output of this one so let's look for watch node there you go watch node and then let's connect this one all right so as you can see it's now sorted by uh, height so as you can see index number three okay so it's from highest to uh, uh, lowest to highest so our index number three which is our height here there you go so index number three is so 36 so lowest to highest order so 36 48 uh, 48 48 and 60 and then 60 and then 60 60 what else and then 72 all right so as you can see it's from uh, high, uh, lowest to highest value now if you want to sort this list here let's say you want to sort it by number of shelves so you just need to change this to number four there you go so by number of shelves which is our index number four so index number four here is number two. All right. So number two, number two. Now it becomes number three, number three, three, four, four, and then five. Okay. So basically that's how you sort your list here. In our case, we have sorted this one using these nodes here. So again, I'm going to select these nodes. And then I'm going to group it. Right click, uh, create group. So let's change this one to uh, sort by number of shelves. Okay, so there you go. So basically, that's how you uh, that's how you sort and filter your data coming from the Excel file. All right. So for the filter, so we need to use these notes here. Again, the good old guy, list, get, item, at index, number, node, string, equal, and then this one for the filtering. Okay? And then for the sorting, so we only need these nodes here. So these are the basic ways of uh, filtering and sorting your uh, information from Excel file. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Learning with Rich here. Have a nice day.